This episode of Texel Live is brought to you by Adamo by Dell and Virgin America Airlines. Coming up on the show, we got an amazing collection of HD and standard deaf camcorders for you. Some beautiful audio devices, including headphones that are going to drive you insane, and some Soho gear that's going to trick out your office. Welcome to Texel. I'm Patrick Norton. I'm Veronica Belmont. really cool. This is the HMX R110, I mean R10, and what I really love about this is the ergonomic way that you can hold it. So instead of like holding it up directly like a 90 degree angle like that, you can kind of hold it down here and brace yourself against your own body and still get that image that's straight ahead. And it's uh, ultra compact and ergonomic like I said. It's got a 9 megapixel digital stills and it's coming out this summer. Price has not yet been set either. What else you got for me up there? How about the fabulous Panasonic? The Panasonic, where are my notes <laughs> on the Panasonic? This is the best part. We have to learn about these products like right away. So this one's actually both has a hard disk drive and can record to SD cards, is that correct? Yes, it's got the uh, dual flash recording technology, I believe. I cannot find my notes on the Panasonic. That's not good. Let's see. I can't find my notes on the Panasonic. Why don't we put that one down? We can skip we'll on to the JVCs. The next one. Yeah, we've got JVCs here. This is our first day on the show. We're a little <laughs> flustered. Why All do right. these have YouTube on the side of them? This is great. They have a one-touch YouTube uploading. Really? Directly yeah. from the camera? Right. So you just not directly from the camera, actually. No. It's software. Uh, There's no Wi-Fi built into the cameras. Maybe sometime in the future. That embarrass would be your cool friends one. instantaneously, <laughs> no matter where you are, if you have a Wi-Fi. That's So this is not doing that yet. Right. There's an HD and an SD version. I'm holding the HD version right now. Mm -hmm. It's got a 20 times zoom, uh, zoom uh, 60 gigabyte internal memory, which is 25 hours of HD video, which is really nice. It's got a nice compact feel as well. It comes in a couple different colors, red which is this one right here, a sapphire blue and an onyx black. I love the fancy names that they give all the onyx colors. Onyx black? Not just red and blue, it's sapphire blue. Anthracite white. It's like 70s car colors. Another cool thing about the HD1 is that it has mm -hmm. built-in face recognition for up to 16 people. So basically that means it'll focus on everybody? 16 or? people, yeah. That's the thing where it doesn't focus on the horse's ass. Exactly. <laughs> if you want to put it that way. That's one way of doing it. It comes with a micro SD card slot as well, so that's just nice if you need some added built-in memory to that. It's going to be uh, $699.95 and it's coming out in February. And then we also have the SD version of that, which is the MS-130. It's got a 16 gigabytes of internal memory, it's got an SD card slot, not micro SD like the other version, and a 40 times soon. And this one is going to be out in February for 30 $349.95. It's also got the YouTube One Touch uploading. All right, put those away. How about the Panasonic? Yay! The Panasonic HS300. It's got 120 gigabytes hard drive built into this guy. Nice. That's 50 hours of video recording. Is that full HD, HD or SD? Full HD. Really? 50 hours of full HD. That's going to last you. I like that thought. You can pretty much walk around CES all day and take HD video and never run out of space. Or a spring break from hell can be captured for at least yeah. two days at a pop. As you can tell from this one, it's, it's kind of like a semi-pro camera. It's not really like one of those light, pocketable consumer models, but right. it's still very easy to hold and use. Wait, wait. We need to show a picture of like our, our not light, profitable consumer model over well, there. Well, yeah, there's a big difference between holding it up on your shoulder. But yeah, this one's nice. It's going to be available in April of 09, and it's uh, $1399.95. This one's shiny. It's what Sony. Oh, this is a Sony Webicam. Yeah, this one's really cute. Um, it doesn't have internal memory, but it does have a... Uh, it's got the... Um, la, 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 la. First of all, I love the color of this one. These ones come in a few different colors I was going to say, well. are there other colors or just purple? Purple, orange, and silver. It's not just a video camera, it's an accessory, ladies and gentlemen. Buy right. seven, one for every day of the week. So despite it, you know, it's got HD video, right. which is very nice. It's got a, shoots an MPEG-4, and it also does a really good job of uploading to YouTube and Facebook and that kind of thing. It's got software that comes with the camera, and so you just, you know, plug it in and it's ready to go. Upload all your ridiculous videos that way. Um, it's $200. It's actually available now from SonyStyle.com, and it's got a five-time zoom. Zoom. Why do I keep saying zoom? Zoom. Could you zoom obsessed? Right. <laughs> 2.5 inch screen right in here, and it uses memory stick, and like I said, no internal memory. Is that all of them? We got some more. Did you get the Canon? Yeah, I did that one. That was I just did that one. Okay. That's right. the last one. That's all our video cameras okay. for the day. I need the uh, 16 inch one. 
think we're gonna Bear with us for a moment while we solve a technical difficulty involving moving stuff around. We'll take a moment to thank one of our sponsors today. That would be Dell. Dell has some amazing systems coming out. And also, if you're here at CES, definitely check out the Dell Revival Suite at the Palms. We're talking food, massages, mayhem. Probably no mayhem, but a lot of nice things going on there. Dell announced four new products at the show today. Uh, USB digital TV turner for the Dell Minis, which are the small computers like that, brings broadcast television to them. A new line of, and I quote, environmentally oh, I friendly monitors. The G-Series monitors produce power consumption by 50% over existing models. The XPS 625 laptop, which is pretty out of control. We're talking about uh, well, a 1080p processor, all of, excuse me, 1080p screen, a 16 inch 1080p screen, Blu ray decoding can be done, all offloaded onto the GPUs inside of it. Uh, AMD Dragon technology support. These are starting pretty cheap. Excuse me, this is the Studio XPS I'm holding up. The uh, XPS 20, 625 is like the low end gaming laptop that starts at 1000. This is the Studio XPS 16. Um, it's pretty out of control because um, they're basically talking about um, a. Uh, Top end configuration, it's pretty out of control. Basic entry, uh, Centrino 2, you can get Blu ray on this. And somewhere on here is your basic fine leather accessories I know, I love the leather. on that. That's very swanky. I like that thought. Um, and we're going to talk a little bit more about these later on on the show. But basically, the idea that they want content creators to actually have a full 1080p screen to be able to work on this. And we're going to compare this to a, uh, some other stuff coming up later in the show. So do us a favor, tune in tomorrow. There is more to come coming from Dell. We're going to tell you about it. We want to thank Dell again for helping sponsor Techzilla here at CES. Oh, hey, and you were totally right. I did forget the Canon. Let's do the Canon real quick. We've got the Canon right here. It's the Canon Vixia HFS10, and it's a really, really nice camcorder. It's got a lot of new technology that I haven't seen before. Um, first of all, though, it has the HD dual flash memory, so you can either record internally or record to an SD card, and then you can copy the videos off the internal memory and put that onto the SD card if you want to take that with you and leave the camera behind. So that's a nice, convenient feature. It's got, uh, you can, it's got 32 gigabytes of internal memory, so that's about three hours of HD video, which isn't bad at all. And like I said, you can add a card slot if you need more. But one of the features that's really neat is the video snapshot feature. And what they're trying to do is prevent you from taking boring videos. <laughs> so when you press the video snap button here on the side, there's a little blue, blue thing around the side of the screen that goes around for four seconds. And it takes a four second long video. And then after that, you're done. That's, that's as long <laughs> as your clip can be. You can continue to take more four second long videos and stream, put them together into right. one cohesive video. But they figured out that that's the amount of time that our attention will hold before you get bored with looking at the same shot, like you're probably doing right now. But that's fine. And it has uh, also built in music, so you can play videos with music in the background. They have 10 clips of their own, or you can use music from your very own library. Yay. And it has uh, eight, mega, 8 megapixel stills, and it's coming out in March for uh, 1400 I'll hold on to that one. There you go. That's definitely a nice over, one. Oh, it's got to go back. You got that one to Grace. Um, who wants to talk about, anybody here like headphones? Anybody here like audio equipment? Stick around, we got some fun one for you. This is uh, Tony and Pacemaker. Some people here at CES last year may think this is familiar. They came out with a professional version of this. Essentially, it's a DJ tool. It's a very tiny DJ tool. You basically drag and drop uh, your audio files onto it, and it's pretty interesting. This is the consumer version of it, and the touchpad down here allows you to switch between, and they actually do, which is something nice for people who suck at DJing, like me. <laughs> Brad over here, he's amazing. He's a professional DJ. No way. I can't beat match. And this will actually, with a click of a button, be automatically beat match between tracks so you can have a nice, smooth mix. This is coming that out for about- It takes all the hard work out of it, though. Yes, well, you call it work. I call it a pain to everyone listening Fair at the enough. show. Fair $550, prices are coming down. Some really cool technology, Tonium's pacemaker. Now, who wants to see some out of control headphones? I do. You want to see some out of control headphones? Um, Denon is really new on the headphone scene. Um, in the last couple of years, they've just kind of show up. These are the new Ultra Reference headphones. These are the AHD 7000s. These are going to cost about $1,000. These are bigger than my head. They are not bigger than your head, uh, but feel the, feel the ear pads. They're soft, they're nice. cushy. You want to put those on for a second? Yeah. So these are selling for $1,000. Those are mahogany ear cups. A lot of people believe, and a lot of people are doing headphone mods these days that actually are using high density woods because they believe it improves the audio quality of it. And it's pretty interesting. They've got a 50 millimeter diaphragm, which is huge for a set of headphones. And they have a microfiber technology where basically they say it's a very dense fabric. It's considerably thinner than most, what? considerably okay. thinner than most existing diaphragm. So it has a pretty good uh, response as basically uh, audio is pumped through it. It's a really, really, really interesting idea. I can't wait to listen to them. They're beautiful. And if anybody has an eighth inch to quarter inch adapter, please let me borrow it for a I few do, minutes. In my backpack. I like that thought. You hold that. 
These are really hardcore. Sennheiser, <laughs> anybody who's into headphones knows this name. And these things are the HD hundreds. Now we talked about a 50 millimeter diaphragm. Sennheiser's like, pfft, whatever. 56 millimeter diaphragm. Um, and basically these are, these are- I'm gonna look even sillier wearing these, aren't Yes, I? they're actually kind of the space headphones. Turn to the side on that one. Um, the frequency response on these is ridiculous. We're talking about something in the neighborhood of uh, five to 20K plus Hertz. So like five Hertz. Five Hertz, I believe, is at the low that end hurt. on that one. Get Sorry it? about that. So I'm at $1,400. Um, these things sound spectacular. I can't wait to go between those and the Sennheisers. A lot of you are probably saying, I can't afford these. I understand your pain. Cost is, uh, is a headphone line we really like, and their low end headphones really sound good, right? We've talked about Grados a lot on the show. Grados 6 is really popular. These are their newest low end headphones, the KC25. 20 to 20 kilohertz response starting at $29.99 is the oh, retail is price, nice price on that point. one. Definitely. Especially for something with that kind of frequency response. Very light, very tasty. We'll talk about those in a moment. You can put those They're down. Shiny. I was they are. They're Don't be glossy. too distracted. They're going to model these ones too. Okay. So we got two more headphones from Cost, and these are actually pretty interesting. And I'm going to see if I can get these. These are the CCO1. They're a set of earbuds. And what's interesting about these is this little silver knob on the back is. Pardon me while I tear the packaging apart. <laughs> I won't tell if you don't. Yeah, we're going to be really gentle. What's interesting about these, though, um, pretty good frequency response. Uh, but what's interesting is as you adjust this silver knob on the back of it, it actually adjusts and expands and contracts no the way. ear by the ghost in your ear. So if you're like me and you have two differently sized uh, ear canals because of the issues you've had with surfer's ear, you can actually use these to basically twist them in and adjust um, basically how they do with knocking out the ambient noise behind you. One more set of phones from uh, Cost. KDE 250s, these are coming out in March for $250. And these look really simple, but they're actually not. So they have adjustable earpieces on this one. So you can actually move this and adjust the earpiece to hang over your ear. But if you look at this, they also adjust so you can get around, you have the little nub at the front of your ear. Yeah, I have a weird shape in well, ear. This allows you to actually get it around the nub of the little ear. And what's really, really nice is they have uh, uh, two transducers inside of it, one for the low end, one for the high end. The high end fires, low end fires in the area around your ear. Really interesting design from Cost. We can't wait to get a chance to listen to them. Um, $249 coming out in March. Now, hand me the shiny headphones. Or would you rather put those on? I'll put them on. Put them on. These are Ultrasone headphones. Ultrasone's a name like people either associate with DJs or high end audio engineers. Can somebody grab these for me? I'm like a crow. I see something shiny. So Ultrasone, these are the Edition 8, available in the spring, $1,500. Ultrasone is known for their S-Logic technology. So S-Logic essentially, pull this off for a second, S-Logic does something really interesting. Rather than firing the diaphragm directly into your ear, it's offset from your ear canal. And the idea is it vastly like 40% reduction in the SBL. So if you live in headphones, the idea is you can have volume on these without doing as much damage okay. to your ears over a long That's period good. of time. Yeah. Pretty spectacular construction. Again, another one we want to spend some quality time listening to in an area that doesn't have a ton of noise. Do we have time for two more quick things? Two more quick things, Audio Engine <laughs> W2 wireless adapter for iPhones and iPods. Um, not lossless compression because there is no compression on the audio. We're using 802.11 to a remote connection which uses USB for power. You can use a USB power adapter or plug it into your computer. And somewhere around here is, you're gonna hold that one up. That is from Samsung, the 200M, their portable recorder, the H4N. Uh, SD card up to 32 gigabytes, four channels max using these two channels plus the two XLR channels. Um, what's really cool about this, 96 kilohertz at the high end for recording, and you can actually adjust the microphones by twisting them through a 90 to 120 degree pattern if you oh, want to play wow. around with the pattern. This is the field recorder that is driving Marantz insane. If you've been carrying around a Marantz, these are really cool. And one last one, Gizmine, 30 bucks, the Angel and Devil headphones. My new favorite website. Because they're just so cute when you stick them in your ears, <laughs> a little angel and a little devil poke out the side of your head. Not going to say much for the audio quality, but they are amusing as all Sometimes hell. you just have to go for cute, right? Yes. Do you want to talk about one of our sponsors on the show? Yes, we would like to take the time now to thank one of our sponsors of this episode of Texilla, Virgin America, the official airline of Texilla Live at CES. Flying can be a frustrating experience, traffic jams, long lines, unpleasant flights, well, no more. Virgin America is all about making the experience of flying fun, exhilarating, and relaxing. Something that you look forward to, not dread. With in-flight amenities like in-flight movies, music, TV, seat-to-seat -seat chat, games, and by mid-2009 Wi-Fi across the entire fleet, which I tried and is awesome by the way, everything is at your fingertips. So all you have to do is sit back, relax, and enjoy the flight. 
Plus, they have high quality food available for purchase through Red. All you have to do is push the button, there Red. it goes. You get a little sandwich, it's delicious. And to add to that feeling, you can join them on their community site, you know, Twitter, Facebook, and also YouTube. So if you want an airline experience that's fun and exciting, then book your next flight at www.virginamerica.com. Remember the logo? ThinkPads? Yeah. This is a very large notebook. W700DS, $3,663. Um, engineers, people who are doing uh, video production, photographers working in the field. You may have seen them if you live in the city where they're like taking pictures, loading up automatically. What's crazy about this is it actually has a second what? monitor that comes out of the what? side. So you can put all of your, either a monitoring or all of your <laughs> control panels over there. Hold on, hold on. It has a built-in color calibrator for the monitor. So if That's you're working amazing. with high-end production, um, tactile pad, regular touch pad, two drive bays. You can replace the optical drive with a third drive got a bay. fingerprint scanner. One there. gigabyte graphics on this one. Um, it's really out of control. Nine, so it's a desktop replacement, so it's not like you're going to be using it to go to Japan and browse the net on the entire time. So Maybe nine cell you. batteries, about two and a half hours of battery life. Um, the digitizer pad and the color calibrator just really make me laugh, but uh, in a happy way, because it's so cool to see that in there. But what's really slick is they're just trying to cover all their bases. Um, Firewire input on this one, five ports, That's and nice. actually DisplayPort VGA and DVI along with a pair of Ethernet ports. This is a serious desktop replacement for engineers, photographers, and uh, video. Producers. Yeah, maybe you were right about not carrying it around with you, but it is good as a desktop <laughs> replacement, that's for sure. Do you want to talk about the uh, Lenmar power port? Yes, this is my favorite new device today, mostly because um, it's actually charging my iPhone as we speak, which was dead after the end of the day. This is the Lenmark power port USB hub, and it charges all your devices pretty much. Any, anything from the major cell phone carriers, your MP3 players, and it's got all these different attachments built right in. So you just plug it into the wall, and then you choose which adapters you want. And the great thing is, if, if you happen to have like six iPods, for example, you can buy the separate adapters uh, separately, so you can have six different iPods charging at the same time. So that's what all, all the USB ports are matter for. Exactly. It's got USB, it's got these separate little ones underneath that you plug in to power right here. And this is a really nice device. I like that thought. Where is the click-free transformer? Backups, everybody likes to back up their data. ClickFree has made their name doing USB drives that automatically do backups for your system. They came up with a ClickFree transformer, uh, $59.99. It's basically their software bundled with a cable that performs the same function as their external hard drive. Pretty interesting oh. concept. We want to do a full-on test on this. We're going to do that later this spring because we know you're interested in backup and external. And Honeywell, the weather at net forecaster model. Uh, this is partially this is really here for cute. our like beloved CEO, Jim Lauterbach, who is the freak, the lover, the man that lives for weather stations. Um, who knew? The, no, it's true. Anybody who's seen this in the past, actually. Um, 80 bucks for the basic version, which has a five-day forecast, which you can do for multiple cities or just for your local area. Uh, $400, the WN928 is the tricked out version that has up to eight external sensors. So you can track all of your favorite, your wind speed, the uh, uh, barometer, air pressure, and all sorts of crazy stuff. Really, really fun stuff. Available this spring for $80 to $400. I did not know that Jim was such a weather freak. He is a weather freak. He's an even bigger weather freak than I am. He also, I think he's I more of a weather, a weather freak. I'm a weather freak. He's a weather station freak. And you know what? Huge this, difference. The beauty of CES is there is a ton of products. We're gonna be back tomorrow, uh, Friday, with another live show at 4.30. Mm -hmm. Saturday, another live show time. at 4.30 with kind of our favorite products. We're gonna go more in depth next week with a lot of stuff we want to show it in action. We've got a full show coming at it. So that's where our ACTV coverage is going to be, our cell phone coverage. What's your favorite product in the show so far? Oh, I would definitely say the Palm Pre. You're liking the Palm Pre. I'm so shocked at myself because I've never been a huge Palm fan, but the Palm Pre really blew me away with the web OS. It's really nice. I like it's that. It's coming out uh, in the first, uh, first half of this year. Hopefully that's what they're planning for anyway. And it's just beautiful. It's very ergonomic. It's got a curved form factor. We don't unfortunately have one here right now but they announced it at the press conference this morning and it blew a lot of people away. Every, everybody was Hardened shocked. Hardened tech heads. And the WebOS, uh, Windows 7 downloads, I think start at midnight, two and a half million. The first two and a half million people get to download Windows 7 beta, check it out. We're gonna be trying to get the download of that. I'm Patrick Norton. I'm Veronica Belmont. We'll see you tomorrow live from CES. And of course, we wanna thank again Virgin America and Admium from Dell. Oh, and of course, NBC for letting us be here at their booth today. Thanks everybody, we'll see you tomorrow.